Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 58-year-old Oklahoma resident Anthony Griffith Sr. was found guilty of crimes he committed on January 6th. Griffith refused a plea deal and he opted for a bench trial. And during the trial, he claimed that he was just doing God's will at the Capitol. Griffith claimed that he was just there to pray for the unborn. And he told the judge, quote, God is with me all the time. He ordains every step that I take. How convenient, right? (laughs) So Griffith also claimed that he believed he had the legal right to enter the Capitol. And he said that he prayed before entering. And he said, quote, You damn demons don't get to kill no more babies in this country. It's over. It's done. You're finished. So the judge noted that Griffith was seen and heard on video screaming at an officer, quote, open the door. Um, So the judge wrote in her verdict, quote, the court does not find this testimony credible. Uh, U.S. District Judge Colleen Kalar Cotelli is that judge. She's the one who presided over Griffith's trial. And in regard to his religious convictions, she wrote, quote, those religious convictions do not negate the clear video and photographic evidence speaking to his intent to engage in political demonstrations in concert with the mob around him. Judge Cotelli also pointed out that Griffith, quote, saw and stepped over broken furniture directly in front of him, and she said that he stepped on broken glass, left the building, and then entered a second time. Therefore, she stated, quote, beyond a reasonable doubt, Anthony Griffith knew on January 6, 2021, that his actions at the Capitol were unlawful. So Griffith was found guilty in all counts which were entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct and parading or demonstrating in a Capitol. He's gonna be sentenced on August 25th and based on the most serious of the four misdemeanors, he could spend up to one year in prison. Um, Judge Cotelli is definitely one of the tougher judges. So, you know, it might be that much or close to it. This is gonna be interesting. So I'll let you guys know how that goes down. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.